Hi, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So today, what we're gonna take a look at is a 2020 W990. This is the first W990 that I sold. Sold a few months after it was released. Custom ordered, we stretched out the wheelbase, picked the engine, picked the transmission, interior, we picked everything on the truck. And this was all done over the phone. I've never met the customer in person. This was a classic call in, he's gonna fly in and fly home with it, or drive home with the truck. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and we'll check out the truck. So here I am outside. I decided to pull the truck out back. There's a lot less road noise and it's uh, kind of rush hour traffic right now. So uh, we have this 2020 W900. Sorry, <laughs> so used to saying that. We have this brand new 2020 W990. Um, and yes, I still have this funny mic butt mic muff or anyways let's get to the truck review already Andy so this truck is a 2020 like I said uh, this is a brand new unit that I spec'd out with my customer Brent Lockwood and uh, we we picked and choosed all the options uh, picked the wheelbase basically set this up exactly how he wanted it uh, so let's uh, let's dive into the the details on this truck. All right, so this is a 2020 W990. Uh, this truck was custom ordered and spec'd out for my customer Brent Lockwood. Uh, found me online and we designed this truck from the ground up. So we picked all the options. Uh, so what you see here isn't necessarily what is standard. So some of these things are, are optional. Uh, looking at the front of this truck, there are some similarities that echo the W900. Uh, the biggest one is the Texas-style bumper. So that's, uh, that's the same bumper that you can get on a W900. Uh, you also have these additional ribs uh, over here, which are something that you can get on a W900 or a T800. Uh, this here is the same aluminum metal mesh grill that you would get on a... T680, 880, or the medium duty product line. And we have this center spear, which has uh, become kind of a tradition on our other models. You can see it right there on a T370, uh, but it's a different design. And that's not plastic, it is stainless steel. So it won't bubble like if it was a plastic. Uh, it is a heavy duty material, won't rust or corrode, so it'll stay looking good down the road. Now this hood is a one piece hood with the seams on it. And uh, so you have these seams right down here. Unlike the W900, I do like this uh, design because if you damage it, uh, you don't have to replace the whole hood. Uh, the other thing is on the W900 with the, the large fenders, with the, those support brackets that I've shown in other videos. Uh, whoa, I just gotta stop. This paint is just sick. I love it. This is a, uh, Blackout 2 is the name of the color, and you just gotta love that color. It's got, uh, I see blue, green, like purple, and even red as a metal flake in there. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. So Blackout 2 is what you guys are gonna be asking. What is that color, Andy? Blackout 2 is the name of the color. Uh, so anyhow, with this uh, hood design, you don't have to worry about paint uh, starring uh, your paint on the top of the fender because of this design it kind of this is the weakest point and any cracks will just kind of be in there You won't see it kind of like cutting concrete uh, You pre-cut your cracks and you don't ever really notice them there. So that's a new design there uh, Obviously this side uh, air intake. This is a new uh, Function right here. So a new feature you don't have the exterior air cleaners that uh, say a W9 or a T800 would have uh, this here is a wider cab. It's a 2.1 meter cab. So it is a common cab similar to a T680 or a T880. Um, 
so that's a new uh, air intake that you get, as you can see there. Uh, the mirrors, they're the aerodynamic mirrors that you can get painted or chrome. We obviously went with the chrome. And you can see here, this is uh, similar to what a W900 would have. This has that stainless steel closeout panel. Now, frame rails down, this, is, this could be the same truck. Uh, drivetrain down, this could almost be the same truck as a W900. Uh, so with this here, this is the polished uh, battery box. You have your def tank that's polished. Now we did something a little bit extra on this one. We had the, the fuel tanks painted. So those are the uh, Blackout 2 paint code painted onto these fuel tanks. And we installed them as close to flush with the back of the bunk as we could. And they may even get tucked up a little bit further. We will see. We have a little bit of room there, but uh, we're just going to leave it like it is for now. Uh, we got the seven inch uh, fuel tank straps there, of course. And I've kind of moaned and complained about those things. This truck is a 275 inch wheelbase. So because it's so long, the factory forces us to put these on there, or sorry, the Federal Motor Vehicle, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards make us put this on there. I'm really embarrassed with this thing on, but I don't care. I'm, uh, I'm doing this for you guys. You guys and gals deserve the best audio in these videos. So I will be embarrassed for all of you that are watching this. Enjoy the audio. Um, <laughs> okay, back to talking about the truck here. Uh, now, something really neat. I didn't know this. Uh, the factory doesn't normally allow side of sleeper uh, backup lights. They normally put them up high right there. Now I put on the order, I typed manually, I narrated on the order to put them up there and I'm surprised that they actually did it. So we were able to get uh, lights up there. Now we changed these. They were LED with a black back. There is no LED that comes in chrome. And uh, my customer Brent asked me to change them out to the chrome style. So there they are. Uh, continuing on the truck here, 275 wheelbase, like I say. So there's lots of space here. We have the uh, polished rims uh, with the AG400L suspension. And these are the Michelin X Multi Energy uh, drive tires. And uh, they're mounted on these aluminum rims. Like I said, I don't believe these are Durabrites. No, these are just the regular polish. So these shine up a lot brighter than say a Durabrite. Um, now I got educated on this deal. I didn't even know that we could get these as an option. So uh, these are LED uh, mud flap hangers with, uh, with lights in them. So that's uh, an option that the factory does right there. So we put those on. We also did the uh, fifth wheel ramps right here. So that's included. And coming on this side, a lot of open space for the frame. Uh, we have a factory installed heater. So you got the factory installed S-Bar heater. And we have the larger fuel tank on this side with the def tank, obviously on the other side. And we painted this as well. Uh, now on the W990 cab, similar to the other 2.1 meter cabs, only one exhaust pipe is connected. So there is the other end of the exhaust pipe right there with the Ninja Star in the middle. I think that's a Ninja Star. Anyways, we'll just call it, we'll just call it a Ninja Star, okay? Um, now over here is the emissions toolbox. So there's your polished uh, step box with the emissions all housed in there. And then your connected tailpipe going up the side here, of course. And, uh, there's your other stainless steel strip. So let's open up the hood. Now, I've said this in the other W990 video, I've had a really hard time opening up hoods on W900. Uh, this is my second try on camera. Anyways, I've done this before. And can I do it? Almost. Nope. I didn't eat my Wheaties this morning. I need help. Okay, so the problem is we 
have these guys right here that tie into that right there and there's no grease on it. That's why I couldn't open it. It was just a little bit sticky. So uh, keep that lubricated and you'll be fine. So looking under the hot side of the engine here, we have the uh, HVAC system right here. So this is the same HVAC that you would find on other 2.1 meter cabs with the filter right here, easy to change and replace. Uh, we have your oil filter and the oil spinner, your centrifugal filter, your coolant filter right there. We have have a new design here. This is a, uh, a little bit beefier, heavier duty design uh, for the blowback uh, cover. And as far as the brakes, we went with the disc brakes on this truck all around. I forgot to show you in the back, but uh, we have disc brakes on this truck for you to see. And uh, this panel here, this is the rear part of the fender. Uh, so this is connected to the truck. So that's uh, a permanent fixture there. Let's uh, go around the other side and take a peek. So yeah, with the hood here, I'm just gonna stop, um, kind of learning as I go here. This is a five piece design hood. So you got the one, two, three, four, five. So that would be exactly the same as a T680. Uh, T680 has molded on fenders. So they are molded. Uh, these guys here are not bolted. They are molded also. So it's not like a T880 where you could replace the fender, bolt them on. Uh, it's a little bit more of a permanent fixture with this model here. Uh, over here is the Packard MX-13, obviously the uh, gray engine. Uh, so we have the 510 horsepower, 1850 torque uh, engine. Now, a little bit of new information. With the W990, there is uh, only one hood offered, but you can get both the Packard 13 liter or the Cummins. So you can get all the way up to the 605 Cummins if you'd like or you can go to the Packard 510, which is a lighter weight uh, engine, 13 liter displacement. So you can maximize your payload in the box if you prefer to run with that engine, but you can get either or. Whereas with the W9L, you can only get a Cummins. With the W9B, you can get either or. So just a little bit of information there. So on this uh, truck here, we have the remote boost terminals. There's your fuel filter. Uh, there is that air chuck to uh, fill it up. And uh, we didn't order it with the remote lube terminal because it has an automatic transmission or an automated manual transmission. So there is the Packard transmission. Look at the space that you have underneath there. There's so much room underneath the cab. It's unbelievable. Uh, so we have your power steering, your engine oil fill, engine oil check, your fuel filter and primer. Uh, your washer fluid is up high, which we need to top up. And uh... So here we are inside the truck. Uh, we're just gonna kind of pan across the dash and I'll, I'll just kind of showcase some of the things there. But uh, the, the one thing that is different about the interior on this truck compared to the other 2.1 meter cabs, which is the T880 and the T680 is the limited edition interior. So when you walk into this interior, you're greeted with black, with blue royal blue stitching. Uh, so black leather, uh, chairs when you order the option. It's not standard, but uh, when you order the limited edition interior, you get this beautiful black curtain. Uh, you get the black doors, the door panels, the dash, 
and then the back panels. So we're going to show you that here in a minute, but uh, really love the interior. I've heard a lot of people say the 680, 880 needs an interior refresh, and uh, I'm hopeful that this interior will be offered in, in that model, maybe down the road, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, so going across here, like I said, you have uh, the Diamond Limited Edition Diamond VIT interior with the Royal Blue stitching and the wood grain dash, which is kind of this uh, gray uh, wood burl wood, which is very nice. Uh, black door panel. We have the door locks, the mirror controls, heated mirrors. We ordered it with a smart wheel, so we have the radio controls and the cruise control right there. Here's the automatic uh, function. So uh, you got drive, reverse, uh, neutral, and reverse right here. And then your Jake brake uh, activates right like so. Like so. Uh, your signals right down here. Uh, here's all your backup lights, uh, pre-wired for beacons if a guy wants it uh, to hook it up. And then down here is your adjustment for the brightness of the dash, your interior lights, and the uh, exterior light test for your pre-trip, for your walk around. Uh, across the dash here, we have your bunk lights, trailer brakes, engine fan, traction control, your auxiliary light switch. So if you want to ho hook up uh, additional lights underneath the bunk or on the air intake, which Brent is going to be doing. Uh, he did say there's a few, quite a few things that he's going to be adding onto this truck. So I'm really excited to see uh, the finished product when he's when he's done customizing it so uh getting back to the dash here we have your air traction control uh to sh shut that off spare switch uh your regen switch uh, a couple spare or spare switch air suspension dump your lockups and then your your uh fifth wheel slider here's your uh gauges so we did the full gauge package without the navigation the GPS or navigation does come standard with the limited edition interior, but uh, we opted to delete it. So you can do that if you prefer. Uh, up high, you have your hazards, your dri driving lights, clearance lights, marker lights for your trailer and your fog light switch. Um, as far as the floor, uh, we ordered it with the carpet floor throughout. So you get that nice uh, carpet and uh, I'm just going to take my shoes off and we're going to finish looking inside here. So in the bunk here, we have on this side, we have your your TV mount right here. So this is a, it takes up to a 22 inch uh, flat panel TV. Customers have put larger ones on there, but that's what the factory uh, offers. Uh, right behind my camera here, I'll just move that out of the way. We have your uh, inverter. So we ordered this truck with a factory installed inverter. So you get these beautiful plugs, uh, black. So they're uh, just nice and out of the way. You get an additional one up here for your microwave when you want to hook that up you get your tw two 12 volt plugs uh, down below and up high as well you get storage up top and uh, this truck here we ordered it with a double bunk so uh, it does say the w990 kind of right down below there so you get that same back panel with a limited edition interior and uh, this upper bed just pops down quite easily just pull on that and then it drops down like so so it's a little bit uh smaller space but you do get uh two beds if you did want to uh to do that some people will even put like a, a board up front here and then just use this for storage uh and then just leave that down all the time if you want to add storage we do also offer the upper storage uh for the back wall and i'll just cut into a clip of that from a different truck so you can kind of see what that looks like if you opted for that option uh, so on the side here, we have that large closet with the mirror, two uh, uh, pockets for maps, a uh, big hanger up top, and then a shelf, which you can remove or order without. And then we have that drawer style fridge. So you have the, the nice drawer style fridge and then that uh, freezer that pops out. If you prefer, you can just slide that all the way out and have a larger fridge. Uh, down below is your storage uh, down below we got additional storage on this side here too right there and here and uh on the back wall here this is uh let's put this little light on so we can kind of see a bit better no maybe not i'll just open up the the curtain here and i'm just going to show you something this is kind of a neat uh feature so 
there's a little plastic, I don't know how well you'll see it. There's a hard plastic piece that runs all the way along here. You can just tuck that underneath. So there's no snaps or anything, but uh, you just roll this up like so. <clears throat> and click it in. I'm kind of struggling here. <sighs> Try not to knock over the camera. There we go. I'll just do one. <sighs> okay, that was fun. Uh, all right, so over here we have the factory SPAR uh, heater for the bunk, a 12 volt uh, outlet for charging your phone, fridge to turn it off and on, heat controls back here, your uh, door locks, your night light, and your sleeper lights. So that's a quick interior tour. All right, so thanks for coming by today to watch this video. I appreciate you uh, being here with me. It's always good to have you along. So thanks for, uh, it's always good to see you guys too. So I appreciate all your comments. I do read every single comment. I don't necessarily reply to every single comment. Love to hear what you think about this truck. As it stands, I know it's different than the W900, which you can still order. We have lots of availability on W900s and lots of stock. As this truck stands, uh, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Big thank you to Brent Lockwood from Lockwood Transport for purchasing this truck, for giving me the uh, privilege of selling my very first W990. So uh, thanks for being the first uh, for me and uh, look forward to delivering this truck to you here in the